There are three things we all do every day. And we can all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within. I was born under the sun, so I'm so afraid of you. Made peace with all I've done, but that just wasn't enough. She's a wreck, she once or twice Yes, I am ashamed of it I try to keep my soul intact What else could I have done? I wanna say I Hey guys, welcome back to Eat, Move, Rest. Dusty, Aaron, and little Maxie, we're all here for an epic beginner dinner vegan recipe for you guys. Yeah, so this one is protein packed. It is iron rich and loaded with lots of veggies. We are gonna make a Thai sweet potato coconut curry, one of our all time brand new favorites. Yes. Okay, you guys, so let's take a look at the ingredients in this recipe. For this Thai sweet potato coconut curry, you will need two cups of red lentils, one cup of brown rice. You will want to rinse both of these before cooking. You will also need three good sized sweet potatoes. We use both Japanese and garnet varieties, one cup of green peas, one yellow sweet onion, three stalks of celery, three carrot sticks, one good sized tomato, two to three garlic cloves, one teaspoon of fresh grated ginger, two to three tablespoons of curry powder, and then for garnish, you will also want to have, this is optional, but it makes it delicious. Either you can use coconut milk, light or regular or coconut cream what we have here and you will want to take a spoonful and dollop it on top you can also squeeze a little bit of lemon on top okay guys we are going to start by adding just a little bit of water to our pot to start our saute then add our onion and our garlic while the onion and garlic are sauteing i'm going to rinse first our brown rice and get that cooking and then rinse our lentils because like i said before they are going in next add two cups of water to one cup of rice and cook that up like i said nice and slow while the stew cooks and it'll be nice and fluffy rice that way so our garlic and onion are about halfway done we're going to add our ginger and our curry powder to the pot and continue the saute before we add our red lentils. Next up, the red lentils are in the pot and we are going to add about three cups of water to start out. You can always add more, but the worst thing is to have a soupy, soupy stew. So we want it to be nice and thick and hearty. So we're gonna go with three cups. Now we're gonna add in our two cups of red lentils, crank the heat up to high, bring it to a boil, and then we're gonna reduce it back to medium. Are you hungry yet again? No. It's time to play. Is it time to play? <laughs> so like Aaron just said, we're gonna add our potatoes, carrots, and celery when the lentils are about halfway done. You can add more water if you need to. So after adding those in, it is a good time to gauge if you're going to need more liquid. You want the liquid to be just level with the veggies so they all cook up really nice. We did end up adding one more cup of water for a total of four cups. Now that our more hard veggies are nice and tender, we're going to add in our green peas and our tomato. We're gonna let these simmer for just a few minutes and salt and pepper is always to taste. I will say if you have a little infant who you are introducing solids to like we are with Max, we, d we tend to go really, really light with the salt if we use any at all. What we tend to do, dish his portion and then just salt and pepper our own individual plates. Alrighty, so now our curry is complete. We're gonna dish it up, put a little brown rice as the base and top it with our curry and our coconut and maybe a squeeze of lemon. Last step is my favorite step, time to put a dollop of our coconut cream right on top. So this really is what makes it. This is almost like the frosting on top of a cupcake in my humble opinion. <laughs> but if you wanna go a little bit lighter with the fat content, 
You can use coconut milk or you can use light coconut milk, but the coconut cream is really delicious if you just put a spoonful on top and mix it in. And also, I should note that we like our curries to be really thick and hearty like a stew, but if you want, you could always add coconut milk into the mix or more water as you're cooking. Whatever your heart desires, just make it good. Make it how you want it to be. That is the beauty of plant-based cooking. It is so versatile and there are so many ways to enjoy this lifestyle without having to feel constrained to one single recipe. We've got tons of healthy soups and stews on this channel. Feel free to check them out. We will link some of our other favorites below. Okay, you guys, so the sun has literally set on this parade, but <laughs> we don't care because it's dinner time and we are so ready for this. I know you guys will be too. Yes, so if you guys like these hearty, healthy dinner recipes, give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and join us here. We'd love to have you join the Eat, Move, Rest fam, and make sure you've got your notifications turned on, as yep. always. Leave us some love in the comments below, and follow us daily on Instagram, at Aaron Stanzik, at DB Stanzik. Alrighty, guys, Eat, Move, Rest, your best. Bye. Bye.